So let's see if we can do division. And again, we'll start using our concrete representation. So let's say I want to take the following problem. I want to divide 1, 2, 3, base 4, divided by 2, 1, base 4. Now, again, every division can be viewed in two ways. We can either view it partitively. We're going to take this and break it into this many parts. Now, the problem here is that because my divisor is a two-digit number, uh, it's a little bit hard to visualize what we mean by 2, 1, base 4 parts. So this is going to be something of a challenge, and I would rather see if there's an easier way of doing something. So let's take a look at that quotatively. And so here, if I'm going to look at this as a quotative division, remember the idea there is that the divisor tells us the size of each part. So as a quotative division, I'm trying to break 1, 2, 3, base 4 into parts of size 2, 1, base 4, and the quotient is going to be the number of parts that I get. And this is much easier to visualize, and because all we're doing to find that quotient is counting, it's a much easier approach to the problem. So let's go ahead and view this quotatively. And so I'll draw our concrete representations, and so our number our dividend has three digits, 1, 2, 3, base 4, so I'll need to use three different symbols for the units. It really doesn't matter what symbols I use, but uh, we'll go ahead and use our standard small square for the smallest unit. A bunch of these small squares joined together to form a single thing for our next larger unit. We're going to take several of these and join them together to form our larger unit. And so my quotient, my dividend, is going to be 1, 2, 3, base 4, one of the largest, two of the next largest, three of the smallest. There's one, two of these, three of those. And what I'm going to look for is how many two one base fours are present. That's two of these and one of these. So the question, how many two ones are in one, two, three? And I'll keep track arithmetic is bookkeeping. I'll keep track by setting down a unit for each of these two ones that I find in my dividend. So there's an obvious two one there, right there. So here's a two one. And so far my quotient, well I found one of them. And let's see if I can find any more. Well, I found one piece and I cut one piece for the cake and I gave it out and well, everybody else who came later, tough luck. Uh, well, actually, what we have to do is we have to cut the rest of the cake. So this is the obvious 2-1, but this piece here can be broken down into a number of smaller pieces. Now, since we're working base 4, that means that this can be broken into four of the next smaller units. So let's go ahead and cut that piece of cake and continue to look for additional two ones. So let's see. Well, I can find some more. Here's another one. So here's another two one. And so that gives me another mark in my quotient. And then there's one more. Here's a two one that gives me another mark in my quotient. And then my final step is because the question was asked using the abstract symbols, I should actually write my answer using the abstract symbols. So now I have to figure out how I'm going to write this thing in base four. Well, because it's base 4, I do have a way of writing 3 of something. So that's just going to be 3, and my base designation, just to make our everything complete, should be spelled out. So our quotient is 3, 1, base 4.